Hello Libra, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Libra, this is your reading for the month of August and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. In this reading, Libra, we'll see uh, what is your energy, what you need to know for the month of August, what do you need to know regarding your love life and other general messages. Okay. So there is an extended reading for this one. Link for the same is in description box and comment section. All right, I shuffle the cards. I lay them down and now we'll start with the reading. We have Chariot. Eight of Cups. King of Pentacles. Overall energy, we have Three of Swords, Ten of Cups, and King of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have King of Cups. A lot of kings over here. Okay. A lot of masculine energy for the month of August, Libra. Okay. If I have to talk about the zodiac signs, I see Cancer, I see Scorpio, Capricorn, Sagittarius. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. Okay. What do you need to know regarding your love life? As far as your love life is concerned, we have the Chariot, Eight of Cups, and we have the King of Pentacles. <clears throat> see what i see over here libra is that uh you will find yourself getting attracted towards someone a lot in the month of august okay uh but it will be attraction you might think that this is uh deeper than that but it won't be it is going to be an attraction uh you will find yourself really really getting attracted towards that you might even feel like oh this is the person i found the one okay but this is not what universe wants you to do universe doesn't want you to get attracted towards that person universe because universe has destined you with someone else okay there is someone better that is meant for you and uh there is something that will happen because of which you will know that the person that you were getting interested into is not meant for you. Okay. That person probably will become interested in someone else. Because we also have three of swords over here. Okay. So there might be a slight disappointment that you might experience in the month of August. But eventually you will realize because see we have eight of cups next to the chariot. So chariot is telling me that your mind is getting pulled towards one specific person. But then divine is also trying to pull you away from that person with eight of cups. And not only trying to pull you away from that person but it, it, divine is trying to push you towards this king of pentacles. So divine is trying to push you towards someone better. Okay. So what I see over here is that it's, it's going to be a blessing in disguise for you. Because eventually when you will meet the right person, you will realize like, oh my God, this person is much better than, I, than the person that I was becoming interested in. And good, nothing happened between both of us at that point of time. <clears throat> good, the person that I was interested in chose someone else. I mean, before you approaching this person, that person will be seen with someone else. So you'll be saved with a lot of efforts and a lot of uh, heartbreak and etc, etc. There will be small disappointment, but again, that will be manageable. It will be, a, it will be for a very temporary short period. But when you will meet your right person, things will unfold in front of you like, oh my God, the reason things did not work out between me and the person that I was interested in because I was supposed to be with this person. I was supposed to meet this person. And the person that you're meant to be with is someone who is capable of offering you stability, is capable of offering you what you desire and deserve, is capable of offering you everything 
that should be coming towards you in love and relationships. I do see that the destined person will pamper you a lot. Okay. For some of you, the destined person can be your boss, can be your client. Okay, someone that you already know of, a destined person. But so far, you have not developed any feelings for that person. You have not seen that person from perspective of love and romance. Okay, but something will happen. Something is going to happen. Some, some chain of events will happen is what I'm hearing. Some chain of events will happen because of which interest will get triggered and things will change. Okay. Life is changing for you for sure. You are attracting much better people in your life, Libra. I also feel that you are going to get a lot of male attention, whether you are a male or a female. And I'm not saying this necessarily from perspective of love and romance. Uh, I mean, when I say male attention for males, it can also be uh, if you're inclined towards same sex, fine. But otherwise, I also see that you are also attracting a lot of friends, new friends or acquaintances or people with similar interest, men with similar interest. Okay. Because there is a very strong presence of masculine energy over here. So it is very likely that you're attracting people with similar interest. You're attracting romantic partners you, for uh, you're attracting um, uh, friends and professional acquaintances. Hmm. As far as your overall energy is concerned, we have Three of Swords. So Three of Swords is telling me that yes, there will be some small time disappointment uh, either in matters of love. Most likely in matters of love is what I'm hearing because we also have Ten of Cups next to Three of Swords. And something I over here also I have already told you when describing your love life. That there might be some small disappointments that you might experience. But otherwise, also I do feel like you have to learn to recognize the energy of people is what I'm hearing. Okay. Uh, you know, stop trusting anyone and everyone blindly. Is, is what I'm hearing, Libra. Uh, stop putting 100% faith into one specific person or couple of them. Like, oh no, these people can never and ever betray me. Something like that. Uh, never and ever approach anyone with this kind of a mindset. Even if it is uh, your friends and family. I, I mean, at least that's the energy I'm getting for you from your cards. For the month of August, I would, uh, I would uh, kind of advise you to be slightly cautious okay and be alert i'm saying this be alert because i think so that the people that you have been dealing with for a very long period of time they are carrying certain grudges in their mind and it is likely that for some of them there might be an outburst unexpected outburst that might happen either it's going to be an outburst or they might channel their energy in a very uh, deceptive manner, which probably if you end up discovering, it might hurt you a bit. <clears throat> okay. Ten of Cups is telling me that partnerships will be of great importance. Okay. Uh, this is with respect to your career. So partnerships will be of great importance. Some of the partnerships will turn out to be very fruitful and productive. And you will be very passionate about certain things in your career. Okay, maybe there are some new things that you are incorporating in your career. There are changes that you're making. Uh, maybe inducting a new business partner <clears throat> or collaborating with business advisory services. 
collaborating with tax consultants, whatever or whoever it is. I do see you becoming very excited and passionate about the new things that you're doing at your workplace. Or maybe for some of you, you're getting a new boss. Okay. And you'll be very excited about it. There is something related to boss. <laughs> okay. So that's what I see over here. Uh, I hope this resonates Libra. Hit like, share and subscribe. Comment down below. The link for the extended is in a description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you. An action they will take towards you. And likely conclusion between you and this person. Alright, take care. Have a great time and bye-bye.